What's up? It's Jason Young, ImprovementWarriorFitness.com. Welcome. This is uh, the video for the final Fit Ranks testing. All right. Um, well, not the final one. So level eight is the one, uh, but you have to get there to know what it is. And it is killer. Okay. Uh, but level seven. Um, starting off, we've got six strength exercises. Uh, so the first one is pull-ups again, so I won't demonstrate that, so easy to explain. Uh, there's no band for any level, any gender, okay? So you're doing straight pull-ups. Uh, then we got the box squat again, okay? Uh, with the box squat, you have a time limit and a certain number of reps that you need to hit, okay? So again, take your barbell, you'll have your weight on there, over the box, drive down, sit completely, power up. Down, sit completely, power up, okay? Three, you're doing push-up hops. So you're doing a traversing push-up. Okay? So what that looks like is you'll be here, okay? You can push up, moving forward, So you basically just walk in one hand in front. If you want, you can double hop it. So here, and sit with your legs, or you can just one hand forward, push up, one hand forward, push up, one hand forward, push up. Okay. Uh, it's not the number of push-ups that you do; it's the distance that you go. Okay. So that's the uh, requirement. For that. Then the next one, you're doing a USA three-point uh, knee tuck. Okay, so you'll get into the, the USA, putting your feet in the straps. Okay, so feet will go in the straps. I'll try to get an angle here. Okay, so feet in the straps, and then you're going to bring your knees up. You're going to bring them out to the side, then you're going to bring them over to the other side. So straight up, out to the left, out to the right. Okay? And the reps required for that is basically just time. Next exercise is the uh, dumbbell or kettlebell stiff legged deadlift. Okay, so this was in level five as well. I'm sorry, level six. Okay, uh, so what you're going to do. Lean forward, same leg, same arm is the one that's working. You'll come up, back down, keeping the chest up, back arched, all the way up, all the way up. Okay? And you do reps on both sides. Uh, then the last one, okay, you're going to be doing dips again, uh, but these are going to be weighted dips, okay? Uh, so we'll have a weight best for you, all right, and so basically you're here, you're coming down, okay, as low as you can, we'll let you know the required depth, back up, driving through, exhale as you come up, the, and that is the strength portion for uh, level 7, then you move on to the conditioning, uh, conditioning, you, this conditioning is, uh, it's pretty tough, Okay, so it's uh, the first one, you have a, a superset, so you're doing single leg box jumps onto the box, okay, so box is here, one leg is up, push the hips back, drive up, up, walk it down, up, jump, walk it down, okay, um, so you're doing reps on both sides, okay, then you're doing a suicide sprint. So there'll be cones set up about 10, 15 yards apart. All right, you'll start, you'll sprint, reach down, touch, reach down, touch, sprint, reach down, touch. And you do that for the allotted time. Okay? So that's super, uh, super set one, or tri set one. Okay, remember, after you complete that tri set, 30 seconds rest, you do it two more times. Then you move on to tricep number two. Okay, so you're basically doing a rope slam. So you're coming up, 
down, up, down, up, down. As quick as you can with the battle ropes. Then one uh, kettlebell swing with the one inch band. This kettlebell starts in front. Band goes over the handle. Whoops. Band goes over the handle, hike it back, pop the hips, drive it up. Remember that band's gonna be pulling you down. Alright, so it's a lot tougher than normal swings. Okay. Uh, then you're doing a Turkish get up. Okay? So this is actually a quad set, not a tricep. Uh, reps are gonna be on both sides. Okay, so Turkish get up. Get down, lay on your side, pick the bell up, same leg, same arm is up, drive off your heel, up to your elbow, extend, extend the hips, always be looking up at that bell too, bring the knee as close to your hand as you can, reposition if needed, lunge up, lunge back down, find the floor, windshield wipe the leg through, butt down, elbow down, back down, Kettlebell, down, unless you have more reps to do on that side. Okay? Uh, then you'll repeat that Turkish get up until you've completed all the reps on uh, both sides. And then the fourth exercise for that quad set is a double windmill. Okay? Alright. So, double windmill, you've got one kettlebell on the floor, one kettlebell up. So you have kettlebells in both hands. All right. So with the right hand, kettlebell comes up. All right, so I'm doing my right hand. Once you wipe my feet to the left, always be looking up at that kettlebell, jut my hips out and back, reach down, grab the low one, explode up, down, Explode up. Okay? So, that is the fourth exercise of that tricep. Okay? Remember, after you complete it, you have 30 seconds rest, two more times through. Okay? Then, when you finish that, we'll give you plenty of rest, uh, but we have an IWF finisher. Okay? The IWF finisher is 100. Or, yeah, 100 half burpees. Okay? And you have a certain amount of time that you need to complete that. So, half burpee is a squat thrust with a jump, basically. So, you're going down, out, back, jump. Okay? It's that simple. You do 100 of those, you pass level 7. Okay? Then you start training for level 8. Can you do it? Let's find out. Stay strong, stay positive, be the Improvement Warrior.